My name is Clayton Monroe, the year 1875. Coming here was a wild dream Pa had, to find a valley somewhere in Wyoming. He sold a good farm in Illinois and brought us a thousand miles west to build a new home, start a new life. But we had to drag our wagon through the fiercest country we'd ever seen. Storms had hit sudden, lightning, rain, snow. Finally, laying, waiting, was the last river we had to cross, the Snake. <laughs> Awful high, Paul. This where you crossed the floor, Paul? No, that's a couple more miles ahead. Best we take a look at it now, though, while we rest the stock. Come on, Pete. Mother, keep the children in the wagon. Yes, Albert. What is it, Kathleen? Not a thing. Kathleen. It's, it's everything, I guess. I mean, us pulling up roots, coming way out in this wild country. I keep wondering if Paul was right in bringing us out here. It'll be 20 years come next month that I married your father. He's always been a strong-willed man, knowing what he wanted, and what he's always wanted, a better life for his family. Trust your father, Kathleen. I always have, and I've never been sorry. Sure is fast, Paul. Yep. She's deep and swift, all right. The way I heard it, she always is. This place we're gonna cross, is it better than here? Best I know of. A mite more narrow there. But don't expect the current to be any less. Well, what about the wagon? It can't ride this current. It's gonna pull the horses under. We'll tie float logs under the wagon. Boy who wants to be a sailor, I don't know how to cross the river. As soon as we get there, will be the time for you to learn. Now, you'll ride across with the horses. And take the young'uns with you. And tie a rope on the other side. The current will carry the wagon. There won't be any danger. Well, no arguing, Pa. You brought us this far. You're a good boy, Clayton. You've done a man's job in all them miles we come. And when we get to the valley, you'll be free to go to San Francisco. To be on your own, like I promised. Get yourself a seafaring job, if that's what you want. Yes, sir. There's a fresh start waiting for us on yonder. Just a couple of more days. I know it ain't been easy. But a man's got to fight for what he wants, Clay. Things that come easy in this life ain't worth having. Remember that. All right. Well, let's get started for your crossing. <laughs> carried my little brothers and sister across on horseback. All of our belongings was on the wagon. We even had to tow the family milk cow. Pa fighting the current, my sister Kat, and Ma worrying. shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He stores my soul.
and you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The world and they that dwell therein. Amen. Now, we were orphans. I was 18, the oldest. I'm Clayton. Fenimore, we called him Little Twin. Jefferson, Big Twin. They were nearly 12. Amy was six, and Kathleen, 16. I kept wondering what Pa would do. We couldn't stay here, and we didn't have a farm anymore to go back to. And up ahead, there was nothing but wilderness, and one valley Pa had marked with a pile of rocks. But I was the Pa now, and I had no choice. I had to find that valley for him. <laughs> 